Hey guys, it's Jared. Um, I'm back today with an unboxing or unbagging or whatever you want to call it. I just thought I'd put out a quick little unboxing. I was getting some webkins, so I figured I'd just put out this video because um, I haven't done a real upload in like forever. So um, yeah, the background's also a bit different than my usual unboxings, but um. Yeah, just bear with me. I ordered these Zubkins like a little while ago, and they're finally here. <laughs> I'm excited. I brought some scissors, but I don't think I'll need to. You can kind of see the Webkins <laughs> already through the bag. So these are like some of the newer Webkins that have been released lately, and I found them for really good deals from J. Randy. So I'm sure many of you know her, but um, yeah. It's the first out of the bag. We got the. Um, the pebble giraffe which was more of like an impulse buy but i just thought it was super cute and i decided to get it that's one of the newer webkins w over here tish tags although i'm probably not gonna be able to focus the camera you can kind of see them there it's really cute i think i only have the sunset giraffe it's quite similar to it and it's a good alternative to the regular giraffe it's just plain fabric so yeah, I really like this one. Okay, next up we have, oh, we have the Aluvant. I, that's how I say it, Aluvant, I don't know. It's the hardest elephant. This is um, another Valentine's Day seasonal pet. I always liked this one. I was gonna buy it a while ago, but now I finally um, have gotten it, like, officially. I just think this uh, Valentine's Day pet is really actually unique and has some character with the hard ears. I think it's really well designed. And along with the Love Struck Panda, these are probably my favorite um, Valentine's Day pets because the Love Frog drives me insane. <laughs> Next up in the bag, we have the <gasps> we have the Westie. Okay, so this is my second Westie. My first one has a little trouble standing, so I figured I'd get another just um, for pictures and stuff. And West Highland White Terriers are my favorite dogs, so. Aw, oh, it's so cute. I love the Westie. I just love West Highland White Terriers. They're so cute. I love it. This plush is just really nice. I'm very biased, but he's so cute. My one is like a little, this one's like a little chubby. He's He's got a little weight on him. And fourth out of the bag, what's this one? It's the ostrich, isn't it? I was unsure about getting this one, but I felt like I didn't get it upon its release, and I always kind of liked it. Wow. Um, it's very different. It's a bit just everywhere. I don't dislike it. I just, it's very different. <laughs> I think it's pretty interesting. It's not just like the standard dog. I think this was a 2019 release or something. Most of these are like 2018, 2019, besides the Aluvan. Yeah, I'm very excited. It's actually really cute. I don't mean to like hate on it. It's just a bit different than I was expecting. Here's the W and the tush tag. Yeah, but there it is. The ostrich is very different, very unique. If you want like a unique pack, a pet, I can't speak. Definitely this one. I don't think I'd take pictures of it personally, but I think it's very interesting regardless. Oh, and while we have them, we have an excuse to show off our Westie again. <laughs> Um, here is the Magic W and of course the Tish Tags, the West Highland Terrier. And last but not least, certainly not least, we have the Pebble Horse. Look at it! So Fandomkins honestly like kind of convinced me to get this. I really liked her pictures of it. And I'm like, you know what, it's not a normal horse. You know, there's the Brown Arabian, the Grey Arabian, the Clydesdale. I kind of just wanted something different, and I didn't think I'd get this. Upon release, I wasn't like a huge fan of it, but this one is very cute. I find it unique from the other horses, and um, the brown coloring is just interesting. Honestly, the price, I'm very, very happy with this purchase. Just to sum it up, we have the ostrich, which I think is very interesting and unique. I don't mean that as like, oh, interesting. It's still cute. It's just a little, you know, that fur kind of gets everywhere. Um, but still, I like it otherwise. <laughs> and we've got the pebble horse. I think it's just so simplistic that I like it with just like the subtle pattern and just like even the white above the hooves here. It just gives it a bit of character and I just, this one's really cute. We've also got the Aluvant, which I don't think I'll take Valentine's Day photos because I never do, but if I were to, I'd definitely choose this one. The elephant's always just, 
I love the elephants. It's just, uh, this one's really cute. I don't know. I don't know, just look at the face. We got the pebble giraffe. Um, again, kind of an impulse buy, but I'm honestly really like it. It's a good improvement to the regular giraffe, and if you get it for a good price, then I recommend it. And of course, the Westie, my favorite dog breed, and I'm so partial because I love it, but I love them. They're so cute. So yeah, guys, this is gonna wrap up the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I have not been super active. I'm recording this just on my phone because I wanted to, and I figured that I'd just put out a video for you guys. Thanks to my Instagram and Twitter, whatever. You know the drill. They're all in the usual place. Happy New Year. It's so cold here. I'm dying, but yeah. Thank you to Jay Randy for the webkins, of course, and um, thank you for watching. As always, I've been Jared Kins, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye! Hey y'all, so I usually don't talk during my outro, but I just had a little PSA. Uploads will return depending on how the whole thing with COPPA works out. I'm recording this in early January, so nothing's been implemented, but if everything works out and I'll be safe, then uploads will return once I get my new phone, hopefully in February. See you then.